Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. My name is Leslie. We have a special event today. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload content a lot on farming, mostly cooking, um, farming, day in the life of, grocery hauls, try-on hauls, unboxings, all kinds of things. And I would love for you to be a part of my channel. I am a middle-aged woman. <laughs> So, um, if you think you would be interested in this, I would love nothing more for you to subscribe and be a part of my sweet little community and family, farm and wife's family. So, farming pastor's wife's family. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you all about our special event. We're going to cook a little and we're going to do all kinds of things. So, join us. <laughs> Okay guys, so I don't think I said in my intro, be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell, hit the word all so you don't miss anything, and be sure to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so today we have a sweet, it's, it's, it's an event here at my house, it's just something small, there's not going to be a lot of people, it's just mainly family. <clears throat> we have one church member who's coming, who has really reached out to this family member of mine, So she, she had, and she had a special connection to my sister. Um, so I, and I'll explain all that in just a minute, but anyway, it's going to be just a sweet, intimate little get together. And I want to explain the story behind it. Okay. I, I'm going to have to go way back <laughs> and tell you a little bit. Okay. So I had a sister who was much older than me. Her name was Karen. She was 20 years older than me. Karen's health was not good her entire life. She had bad health her entire life. Um, and she died at the age of 51 in 2003. So, she um, had a daughter. Uh, her name is Emily. And um, she had a daughter. And Emily kind of grew up, I mean, without a mom. And definitely most of her life without a healthy mom. But um, Emily was blessed. Even through it all, she was blessed. She had a great life. She had great grandparents, great aunt. You know, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> she had cousins her age. So um, she was blessed with a sweet family, which you're fixing to hear a little bit about. But Emily married, um, and Emily wanted to have children. And for some unknown reason, was never able to conceive and have children marriage eventually dissolved. Okay, so that's that bringing you up to speed there. Okay, now Emily had a friend uh, who uh, I'm not sure how she knew this friend, but they were friends. And um, the friend actually had cancer and um, it was terminal. Emily's friend had a little boy and um, at three years old when the friend was getting ready to pass away she made arrangements legal type arrangements that she wanted Emily to raise her son and so Emily along with the dad um, take care of this little boy um, Emily was thrown into motherhood <laughs> with a three-year-old, and um, this little boy was left without a mom at three years old. Um, but, and to me, it's so sad. I mean, I can't imagine being a three-year-old. You know how little boys just love their mom, and they want their mom all the time, and all of a sudden, you don't have your mom. Um, so, I can't imagine what he's going through. But I see he provided a, a woman to care for him. God provided a woman in my niece Emily to care for him. Okay, <clears throat> so with that being said, we are throwing a welcome to the family party today. Um, something to help Emily out because Emily is a, now, I mean, I guess you consider her a single mom. <laughs> Um, you know, she, she does not refer to herself as mom. 
because he still has a special place but she is now the caregiver of this little boy and um and the dad is very involved in his life so so that's a good thing and um but we just want him to feel like he's a part of the family that he's not an outsider or um many of you know that caroline was mine from a previous marriage and bryant's family ex i mean you could tell no difference between her and the other grandchildren. In, in fact, when his parents died, she was not listed as a step grandchild. She was a grandchild. And that was so special to me as her mother. I want him to feel the same way um, that he he's just like the rest of us. He's just part of this family. So um, we're doing the theme Lilo and Stitch because I don't I can't think of the word. It's not Honolulu. <laughs> There's a word, Hana, maybe. I don't know. That means family and no one gets left behind. And so we're kind of doing a Lilo and Stitch um, Hawaiian theme. I'll try to come home and find something Hawaiian. I don't really have a Hawaiian shirt, but I'll try to find something. And we'll put it on and uh, put something on. And um, we got Lay's. Um, we're going to have slider sandwiches, which you're going to see in just a minute. <clears throat> Um, and we've got him, you know, we, we didn't want it to be a birthday type party because it's not his birthday. We got him a few toys, but it's mainly to provide for his needs and for Emily and to see what they need at the house. Cause, cause here she, she wasn't prepared for a child. She, she had no, you know, nothing. And so, um, so we're just going to fill her and him up with love and let them know that we're here for them and we love them. And so, when you think about it, if you could say a special prayer for her, for him, the dad, for everybody um, involved, um, his little world's been turned upside down. Absolutely turned upside down. And I cannot even imagine. But I'm thankful that he has Emily. And I'm thankful that his dad's in the picture. And so, um, just... Remember to give them a little prayer because, you know, I mean, Emily's been by herself for a long time. She's, she's a bean. She's, she's my kin. So she's set in her ways. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, it, it, it's a, it's a strange thing to be, I mean, goodness, you bring home a little bitty baby and that's, and you've been expecting it for nine months. Can you imagine having a child and, and didn't know it was coming and, and, I mean, I mean, she knew a little bit ahead of time, but not years or not nine months, you know. So, um, anyway, if you don't mind, just give her a sweet little prayer. That would be so thankful. I would be so thankful for that. Um, anyway, so I have made some of the things ahead of time and I filmed it. And so when I'm showing you these clips, I may be acting like you've never seen anything. <laughs> so if it doesn't sound like everything's in order, it's not. Um, so I've made, uh, we've made pork barbecue sliders and buffalo chicken sliders, and I've made some slaw. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the slaw clip. And so we're going to do the slaw clip, then we'll come back and we'll do the meat clip and then we'll have the finish. So anyway, I won't be filming any probably of the event. Um, I just want to respect their privacy. I did ask her if it was okay if I shared the, her story and she said yes. Um, but I don't want to film anything during the, I mean, I may sh film items, but I don't want to film them because I, I, I just, they're still adjusting. And, um, so I don't want to intrude on that. And, um, so yeah, anyway, um, that's what we're doing today. It's going to be so sweet. Um, I mentioned to Caroline, my daughter, I said, don't you think we should have like a welcome to the family for Gabe? And I just kind of mentioned that in passing and boy, Caroline took this and ran with it. I mean, she came up with a theme idea. Um, I'm going to try to have Lilo and Stitch playing on the TV, you know, turned it way down or some Hawaiian music or something like that. Um, we're just going to have fun with it. And, but I'm so proud of Caroline. She really took this and ran with it. My other nieces um, just jumped right in and 
um, provided stuff. In fact, one's not even going to be here because she has uh, another engagement with her husband. And um, she, I mean, she just brought stuff yesterday to bring here and she was so upset she couldn't be here. But, um, but you know, it's so sweet. And um, so now you understand why I said, when I said in my, I think it was my chocolate pie video, that we have an event coming up that's so sad, so sweet, so special, and so happy. You understand now how it's, um, you know, the desire of my niece's heart was to be a mother. And look how God did that. I mean, I'm not saying he caused the mom to die, but he knows things ahead of time and he works things out. And it's just, it's just, um, he just amazes me sometimes. So, um, and, and please pray for the mom who passed away. Um, pray for her family because I know it is um, hard. I know it is very hard. So, anyway, that's that. So, let me show you the slaw clip. If I say anything like you don't know anything, <laughs> just disregard it. Just go with it. And um, so, we're going to do the slaw clip. Then I'll show you the meat and then um, whatever else we film. Okay guys, so let's make slaw. We're gonna make slaw two different ways. We're gonna make slaw my regular way for everybody else. And we're gonna make some lighter fat and no sugar added um, sweetened cabbage for me and one of my nieces. Me and one of my nieces, we're actually doing the same program so um, I'm going to make me and her a little bit of slaw so we can kind of um, enjoy a little bit of the festivities even though we're not fully indulgent. So I like to hand chop my cabbage and my husband likes to bring out the food processor. I think it, I just soon do it by hand and so I'm going to get started on that. I'll show you the tool I use. Y'all are seeing in my messy drawer. Right here, this is what I use to chop my cabbage with. And I just put a little bit in here in the bowl at a time and I just chop. And then when I slice it before, I, when I slice it off the head, I cut it in pretty small pieces to begin with. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the cabbage going. I'll bring you back when it comes time to make the actual slaw. Okay guys, so I was totally Recording when I wasn't supposed to be recording and not recording when I was supposed to be recording So let me just tell you what I've done to the cabbage right now in here. I have added um, Three eighths of a cup of Three eighths of a cup of mayonnaise I've added a teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar and about two tablespoons of sugar. And as I was saying in the video that wasn't being videoed, if you don't like sweet slaw, leave the sugar completely out. If you like a sweeter slaw, add more. So the sugar is really per your taste. Now I'm gonna uh, sprinkle in a little salt and pepper and then a surprise little splash at the end. Okay guys, so I'm going in with some black pepper I like my slaw peppery, but that's up to you. A little slight sprinkling of salt. That's not a necessity to me. And I'm a salt lover, but I don't have to have it in my slaw. And our surprise splash ingredient. A little splash I'd say two teaspoons of milk. It just makes it good and juicy and everything works together. And I just think the milk adds just a little something special. Okay, so that's the regular slaw for everybody. It will get better as it sits throughout the day and it'll be ready to be served tomorrow. I'm gonna put this in a container so I can stick it in the refrigerator. And then we'll start working on our healthy slaw. Okay guys, I get these wonderful freezer containers. I'm not freezing this, but I get these containers off of Amazon. I need to order some because we're fixing to have our chicken stew and um, 
people always want some to go um, when they're leaving for the evening and so I need to order me I'm glad I got this out for the saw because that reminded me I need to order some okay guys so now we're going to make the healthy version and instead of regular Duke's mayonnaise we're using this <laughs> We're using this. What is that? It's light. What? There's such thing as light mayonnaise? <laughs> yes, and it's Duke's. <laughs> no, we need the yellow kind. Don't get this. Don't get this. Don't I, listen to her. If get you're healthy, get this. It's delicious. Okay. I don't know how to give you measurements because I just don't. Because I don't know how much cabbage I have. And I really didn't know how much cabbage. It's just one small head. Minus these couple little scoops. We're gonna put just a squirt. Let's start with a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. It's gonna need more than a tablespoon. All right. You don't need to put extra since it's light. <laughs> no, y'all do not listen to her. She, she, her southern fattening background is talking. And I am on a health journey. Who do you think taught me that southern background? <laughs> y'all, really, she's kidding. She's picking with y'all. She is really supportive of me and my diet. I am. I'm just messing. Okay, I'm going to say three and a half tablespoons of light mayonnaise. Now, remember, this is going to serve me and my niece that's on a diet as well. I'm going in with just a half a teaspoon this is a teaspoon and so I'm going to just try to fill it up halfway of apple cider vinegar. Carolyn, will you grab me the salt and pepper back out? Mm, this, okay. No, the shakers are better. Are they? They're over there. Okay, and so in my other one I put I put um, sugar. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and salt and pepper it. You know, I like to pepper mine. Just a quick sprinkle of salt. Mm, leave it out if you want. Um, let's go ahead and we'll put our splash of milk in. You gonna do that monster or something? I'm gonna do a pack of Splenda. You could do monk fruit. I don't have any, I have monk fruit, but I have the brown monk fruit. Um, and I want it to dissolve. So if you are anti-Splenda, then you can use stevia, you can use monk fruit, you can use um, erythritol, whatever those kinds are that you use, you can use those. I want some more black pepper. Will you get me a Splenda packet? Just one packet? Yeah, over here on the cabinet. Just one. In fact, one. Yeah, one will be good. Mm, where? Right there, honey. It was a snake. It was a bitter for sure. I'm going to start with half a packet, taste it, and because one packet may be plenty. Is that going to be enough for some for you and Lachelle? Yeah, I won't eat much. Mm. I should not have put the salt in, but good. I'm going in with the whole packet. There wasn't much left anyway. So I got a fresh spoon. I'll take the dirty one. Take the dirty one, stick it in the sink. All right. I just tasted it again and it is delicious. Tastes just like slaw. You don't miss the, you don't miss the yellow mayonnaise. <laughs> you don't miss the original dupes. And you don't miss the sugar. So, Lachelle and I, my niece, and I will have a little small helping of guilt-free slaw tomorrow while they're eating the guilty slaw. <laughs> okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you the everything, what we're making tomorrow. And um, you won't see it. I mean, I won't finish this video up until tomorrow, but uh, you'll see me get started on everything. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do to this pork is I am just going to quickly use what I used um, 
the, the rub I used on my ribs. If you missed that video, I'll link it below. Click on that link and the recipe for the rub is down in that description of the rib video. But I had some leftover rub, so I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna sprinkle it over our pork tenderloin. And I'm gonna be very generous with it because I'm not gonna do the bottom side. All right, so we're gonna cook this low and slow for about eight hours. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water down around it, not much at all. I'm really not sure how much to add, but we're not gonna add much, probably about a cup, just to get it going in some juices. It's gonna cook on low in this crock pot for about eight hours. So I'll see you guys back when the pork gets ready. And in just a minute, I'll get the, um... okay guys, what I'm gonna do now is I've got, we're gonna start on our chicken. I've got four chicken breasts in here. We've got the pork over in the other crock pot. So this is gonna be buffalo chicken sliders. So I've got four chicken breasts and I'm just gonna sprinkle some, y'all my favorite thing to season with, <laughs> ranch dressing mix. Let's just open up the big end. Just carefully put a little bit in here. All right, we're gonna also add some garlic powder. Now I have melted a stick of butter and I'm to the stick of butter, I'm gonna add about two thirds to one cup of Frank's hot sauce. So I'm gonna pour it over the chip. Let's see, let me just take the lid off. That'll be better than that sporty thing. I'm just gonna pour it in here. This is gonna be a lot of the bottle. It's okay if I spill a little. You know, I think more is not always better, but more is sometimes better. All right, and I'm just gonna put it in there with the butter. Take my measuring cup. You don't need to mess up a spoon. <laughs> and now we're gonna pour that over this chicken. All right. We are gonna let that cook on low. And about the same amount of time, about six to eight hours, same amount of time as the pork on low. We're gonna cook it on low. And we will be back later to see how it's going. Okay, guys, I thought I would give you a sneak peek at our meat. And you see how easy it just tears apart. Um, and we'll check the pork roast. Look at that rub on there. It just tears apart. Look at that. Okay, so when I get home today from church, I will shred the meat up, put it back in the juices to this one, the pork barbecue, I'll add some Sweet Baby Ray's in here. And that's what we'll have um, with our pork sandwiches. And this will be standalone. Uh, I will have some ranch they can put on their sliders if they want to. Um, but here it is. I'll finish shredding it up when we get home from church. I've got some Hawaiian rolls that we're going to use as their slider buns. Um, this is kind of a Hawaiian themed party, although I know the food's not necessarily Hawaiian themed, but um, so we'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so it's the next day and as you can see, my kitchen is a mess. I forgot to come back on and show it to you after I shredded it up, but let me just tell you, I just it, they just fell right apart put it back in the juices. What I decided to do was not pour the barbecue sauce on it because it already had that rub. So there was a good flavor in there already. And I just sat the bottles of the sugar-free bottle and the Sweet Baby Ray's out beside it. That way people could choose how much sauce they wanted to put and so forth. With the chicken, I just shredded it up, put it back in the buffalo sauce and had a bottle of ranch out in case they wanted to put it. I had a double pack of Hawaiian rolls, and that's what they put them on 
we had chips, we had um, fruit, we had vegetables. No, we didn't have vegetables. My niece brought some zucchini boats. Um, we had desserts that my other niece had brought. We had a cake. It was just a sweet little event. So hold on, let me give you just a quick, quick glimpse of the event. Where's your shirt? Give us a what's back? Hey, can Here's your shirt. Oh, come here. Huh? As soon as he's done, we'll go get yours and let you open yours, okay? Can and Levi <laughs> together? Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is his territory. <laughs> yep. All the books up. Down here. Good job. There comes Karen. They don't understand. Here, we're going to do it again. Do they, Levi? Okay, so it was just a sweet little event. So today, I've got Levi. I need to be cleaning, but I can really only work when he's asleep. And he's already taken a good morning nap, and I use that time to work in my bedroom. Um, I had a pile of clothes. Bryant always has the pile of clothes. Always. This time, it was me. So I worked on that, hung up all my clothes, and sorted them and so forth so um i don't ever i mean like if if it's still clean and i take it off i hang it right up usually or at least by the next day but there was a pile and so i had to and sunday morning was one of those mornings that i had a closet full of nothing to wear you know what that's like like nothing just felt good or looked right or so i went through several outfits in a hurry and left them on the bed so yeah, I had a few things to clean up. So maybe in his afternoon nap, I will start tackling that. But then I have to start getting supper going too. So anyway, thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this special sweet event that we had. And um, yeah, thanks. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I'm so glad you're a part of my family and that I can just bring you along with things that we do like that. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember, if the grease Bye. is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, love ya.